welcome back our dear uh, viewers as we have uh, said at the beginning of our program for today that uh, we are going to talk about the development project the mega project that egypt is implementing to what extent these projects are developing the economy to what extent these projects are uh, giving um, a real uh, boost to the uh, egyptian economy which uh, actually was praised the economic reform program in egypt was praised and hailed by uh, the international uh, financial institutions as well as the world bank and the imf uh, to shed more light about that we are very much delighted to have with us our dear guest in the studio mr amr abdurrahman our political analyst good morning sir. good morning to you i'm more delighted good morning uh, mr amr first i uh, would like to shed light on the importance of uh, the national uh, projects uh, which are uh, currently uh, carried out by the government and its impact on the economy well, I believe that the uh, international projects the, and the international projects yes. that are being established on our soil in Egypt mm. represents a new uh, direction, a new uh, way of thinking. We are building uh, a very strong economy, nationally and internationally, as we are the leading role country in the region. And of course, we have a very important share in leading the, uh, the, the international economy. As we believe that uh, the, uh, the international and the, uh, or the national projects in Egypt represents a very uh, various aspects. We are th going through a war, whether we feel it or not, but we are going through this war. And our development uh, map is our way, is, is a way of going through and facing this kind of war or going through this war uh, because our national projects have too many aspects as i said we have it uh, we have the military aspect we have the political aspect we have the the the, the human resources aspect we have the economic the economic uh, aspect uh, as we believe that the road uh, projects uh, means a lot for the military uh, movements if we go through a war the, 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 the new tunnels uh, connecting the both sides of uh, Sinai and the, and the Western Bank and the Eastern Bank, that means a lot hmm. to transport uh, the armies very easily going through uh, the channel. Our uh, national projects in Sinai and in, the, in, the, in Upper Egypt means a lot to very uh, important uh, sectors of the society that have suffered a lot for decades before. In Sinai, we can build now uh, uh, an airport or uh, make a very uh, large scale uh, cultivation uh, in Sinai, which, uh, by the way, Sinai is one of the most rich environments and rich soils for uh, cultivation all over the world. Mm. Yes. Uh, sir, of course, uh, we have witnessed at uh, the previous uh, years uh, a great uh, development regarding the sector of the infrastructure. To what extent the development of the infrastructure in Egypt, uh, which uh, we did all feel, of course, um, could be a real booster to the economy by attracting investors, uh, by, um, uh, of course, facilitating the transport uh, of uh, the goods and the uh, industrial products from one uh, uh, part to another, uh, to what extent that uh, would boost uh, the investment sector in the country as well? Looking at the, the, uh, the gas sector and the power sector, yes. looking at the, 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 the rose sector, looking at the, um, the new, very, that which is very important here, uh, to, to talk about the, the, national, the old national projects in the secrecies that are being revived. Mm like Al Nasr company, yes, like, other was, country, yes. uh, like other uh, companies, like other companies like this. These projects mm. uh, means that there is a very a specific course mm. that this state have uh, established exactly mm. afterwards the success of the uh, revolution of 23 of July, mm. the year of 1952. And we are going through this path. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, we, we were delayed, yes. but now we are going the highest speed. Mm -hmm. This is not a matter of policy. This is not, we are not talking about uh, um, 
international uh, yes. or uh, international investments mm. are, are different from our uh, closed uh, economy before. We are now speaking the same projects are being established and rev revived mm. by a new aspect, a new vision, uh, gathering the private sector mm. and the uh, national sector. Yeah. Also, uh, President Afatahsisi last uh, Thursday inaugurated two new factories at the Nasr for Immediate uh, Chemicals uh, Complex in uh, Abu Rawash exactly. to uh, produce uh, gases uh, for uh, medical causes. So, uh, how do you see the importance of uh, investing in the, uh, this sector of industry? That means a lot to this country. Yes. That means we have a vision, we have a, a road map. Mm -hmm. Mr. President Afatahsisi is going through accomplishing this map yes he didn't invented this map he is accomplishing the map the road map yes. is the only road map that egypt mm. Misr, can go through and build the the the, the uh, and establish the base for a new egypt this mega project mm. means that we are building a, a future not only a present to live, to live in, uh, in, in day by day. Okay, uh, the viewers, a uh, short break, and uh, we'll be back with uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, political analyst, so stay tuned. Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and uh, we are uh, still talking in this segment of our program about uh, developmental projects and its impact on the economy, and uh, we are hosting uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, political analyst. So, Mr. Amr, before the break, uh, we were talking about the latest uh, uh, inauguration of uh, the two uh, factories uh, uh, at, the Nasr, uh, at the Nasr for Intermediate Chemicals uh, Complex in Abu Rawash, and that took place uh, last uh, Thursday. Uh, one of the two factories will produce medical and industrial uh, gases and the other hydrogen uh, peroxide. So uh, we were talking about the importance of developing also these uh, old companies like Al Nasr company. Uh, the, uh, the projects of the, uh, the national sector, hmm. uh, the old national, okay, national sector can be a very great addition to our base we are building right now for the future. As I believe that we are taking the course between uh, socialism and capitalism yes. in the way of running those projects. Mm. We have taken the path, the very uh, strong and very specific path between yes. the, 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 the two visions yes. to take the, the goods, the good things in both sides. Mm. We cannot just go uh, along uh, again with the, 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 the socialism. Mm. And of course, we cannot just be drifted to capitalism yes. uh, with the, the, this uh, greeds and uh, the way that, that uh, runs down the, or, uh, the ordinary citizen. Yes. So we are taking the, this path to have in mind the, 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 the benefits for the, the ordinary citizen, mm. to have benefits of the, these projects. Mm. And on, this, on the other hand, uh, looking at it uh, as a, a large scale yes. to uh, invest and uh, withdraw, uh, wi to uh, attract uh, investors from all, uh, we are embracing yes. uh, all investments from, uh, from East and West. And this is a very important point here too. Yes, the importance of inaugurating uh, Mr. Amr uh, um, uh, uh, industries, uh, um, uh, factories, industrial factories and uh, plants and all uh, these um, uh, developmental projects in order to boost the economy, to increase the number of um, exporting uh, goods and uh, to, um, uh, to show the stability of Egypt and its willingness to compete in the international markets and um, to attract investors to come and to build factories in Egypt and uh, of course uh, that is a, a real um, a factor for developing the whole economy of course. To what extent uh, uh, you are um, uh, uh, supporting the idea of developing uh, the industrial um, uh, zone in Egypt and uh, to establish more factories and uh, to start to export different products? The, important, the importance of this uh, uh, renaissance, industrial renaissance we are witnessing right now, you have uh, talked about it in the beginning. Yes. When we said that 
the, the international institutions and the international uh, financial centers mm -hmm. are hailing our success. Indeed. We have achieved figures that mm -hmm. are never, never uh, achieved mm -hmm. in Egypt mm -hmm. since even uh, the 60s, mm -hmm. from, uh, since, since the, 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 the new Yes, and your uh, rating, Egypt, according to the rating agencies, has um, increased. We have never achieved these yeah. numbers. Yes. On the other hand, this success, these projects, mm -hmm. are our weapon to fight with, to against the greeds of other mm -hmm. enemies, like the Zionist existence, mm -hmm. like the mm -hmm. Turkish greeds in the Mediterranean. Yes. We are fighting by building, fighting by building. And developing, yes. And developing. In the, our uh, our own fields of gas, our own field mm. of uh, oil, yes. our own uh, large, the largest mm. uh, electricity uh, net we are yes. building mm. uh, it, it, with the the the, the, the Siemens uh, mm. company and other in, international, very great uh, multi international uh, companies internationally. That means that we are attracting those uh, great uh, capi uh, capital, capitalistic mm -hmm. uh, groups and mm -hmm. capi capitalistic uh, companies mm -hmm. to uh, invest here according to our own measures, mm -hmm. according to our own best interests. Yes. And we are not, again, we are not drifted. This is very important. We are not drifted towards the East or the West. Our relations with both powers mm. uh, in this world mm. are just very important to, to, to look at it yes. right now. We have never been this way. We, we, we were always drifted, whether to the Russians or to the Americans. Right yes. now we are drifted only to our own best interests. Which is uh, the important uh, thing to do, of course. Uh, also, if we read international uh, reports, we'll see that Egypt uh, jumps uh, 90 places in the world ranking of road quality mm. index. And uh, this uh, uh, shows uh, the development of infrastructure and the road network here in Egypt, according to international reports. So how do you read this? This is another indication, yes. a very positive one, mm. along with long list of indications uh, toward th those past five years. Yes. Mm. That means also a lot to the ordinary citizen. Mm. The ordinary citizen is expecting and yet to expect too mm. much mm. Mm. We, uh, we cannot just say that the ordinary citizens have benefited from this mm. uh, project uh, for, for this very yes. moment. Be but we are establishing a base, a whole lot of base for, uh, the, for the future, mm. which is each and every sector of the society will be benefiting from this base. Yes. Mm. Uh, Mr. Amr, uh, developing uh, Sinai and uh, establishing, of course, the tunnels which would uh, be uh, of great importance to Sinai because, of course, they will uh, do a great uh, and important link uh, between uh, Sinai and the rest of the Egyptian governor rates. How do you see the uh, importance of uh, paying special attention to the developmental uh, projects and developmental work in uh, Sinai in particular? All right, we have two very important things to talk about here. As I said, mm. we are fighting terrorism mm. by building. With one hand, we are carrying the weapon mm. and running down terrorism, terrorism in mm. Sinai. Yes. On, on the other hand, we are building and cultivating mm. and establishing schools, <laughs> in, uh, uh, companies, um, uh, hospitals. Of course. We have regained the, the ordinary citizen mm. in Sinai has regained its own identity. Mm. He didn't, they didn't have identity mm. for decades, for, for ex especially uh, in the past era. Mm. We, uh, we are now making the ordinary citizen in Sinai, in Upper Egypt, a part of de developing its mm. country. They, uh, they have their own lands now. They can buy their own lands mm. as an Egyptian citizen as a, a recognized Egyptian citizen, as a, as a taking part. Of course. Uh, the, the, the very important for each and every citizen to take role mm. and to take part in this development uh, project. Yeah. So uh, also, uh, to what extent these projects has 
helped in uh, solving the problem of unemployment in Egypt? Well, this is a very important question here. Um, I believe that too many projects right yes. now, we can count, mm. count a list of the, these projects. Yeah. Each and every pr project have own, uh, its own uh, labor uh, of needs, of course. Mm. That means we are, again, building a mm. strong base for people to take part mm. and for people to take uh, uh, chances to work. Mm. Uh, As along yes. with, we need to, to, to have, to, to, to develop the, 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 uh, the, 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 the industrial mm. sector of education to go through, not, uh, not each and every student ri yes. right now just go to, to be a doctor or to be a, an architect. Mm. We need the industrial education for, also for the labor, for ah. the, the, uh, the workers in these uh, projects. Yes, we, we cannot uh, here be talking about the developmental projects in Egypt without mentioning, of course, uh, the new cities which are, are established in Egypt. Uh, new El Alamin city, new Damietta, uh, new El Mansoura, and of course the uh, new administrative capital, uh, which is of course uh, going to be a big hit uh, for uh, Egypt. And of course, uh, in order to develop and to establish these uh, new cities, we are also uh, creating uh, the, 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 its own transportation, the monorail, of course, which will link the new administrative capital with uh, Cairo and with the 6th of October. How do you see the importance of uh, these uh, new cities and of course um, uh, to what extent uh, that would be um, a real uh, source of attraction for uh, the investors? It's as if we are building a new country within the country. A mm. new country, a whole lot of new country, a whole lot of new cities, yes. a whole lot of new societies. Building the new capital mm. is very important and significant to our national security. Mm with new universities, new schools, uh, with, and course, along new with ministries which are going to, to, to move there. A new society, mm. a new country. You are building a new country within the same country. Yes. On, the same, on, on a better level, mm. on a very uh, high level that Egypt must deserve, really. Mm. Very important uh, thing here to say that the new capital with a new defense uh, headquarters, mm. it means a lot. As I said, we are going through a war. Yes. And uh, making two headquarters for the same, uh, for the same uh, mm. military leadership, it means a lot, strateg strategically. Mm. We need to focus on this very, uh, mm. th this very important point, that we are still going at war. Mm. And at any time, we can find ourselves going through a war. We don't need war. We don't ask for wars, yes. but we are going through one. Mm. Mm. Also, talking about the Suez Canal, and uh, the chairman said that the waterway recorded its uh, highest ever monthly revenues in October, uh, saying actually that the figures were unprecedented. This uh, takes us to the development of the Suez Canal area, as also uh, uh, the president is expected to inaugurate some projects there. So tell us more about the importance of developing this area. Look, uh, the investors, the international uh, investors, yes. they, they don't mm. f uh, follow their hearts yes. to go to you. Mm. They are follow the figures. Yes. Mm. And we can witness that too many companies from mm. east to west, from Indonesia, from, we have the uh, Russian uh, from Japan, zone there. from yes. China, from, from Russia, from uh, the mm. US, from Britain, from Germany, are investing mm. in this uh, area of projects. That means it's a, it's a, it's a huge mm. success. Uh, yes, so that would bring me to uh, talk about the many uh, agreements and many uh, memoranda of understanding uh, that were signed, of course, with many international companies and manufacturers who are going to establish their own factories and their own production uh, in the Suez Canal zone and in Egypt. Uh, many uh, uh, car manufacturers are back to Egypt uh, who, who did the leave before, and many new um, manufacturers are uh, going to. Uh, to establish their own factories and, and assembling points in Egypt as well. Uh, what message here uh, do we get from this? That we are attracting those investments. Yes. And uh, this high level uh, international co cooperation, mil uh, economically, mm -hmm. to start our own mm -hmm. measures, 
of industry to build our own mm. new base uh, of in the industry, mm. the national, the patriotic mm. industry that can compete with other mm. uh, countries within the same country without going abroad. Mm. By this, uh, by building this uh, new base, we can build a very strong mm. power uh, economically yes. Yes. and industrially. Without this, we can never fight back towards uh, the language of mm. power, the language of power here, all, not only militarily, but only, but also uh, economically and mm. industrially. So, uh, sir, also uh, this uh, takes us uh, to the government efforts to encourage young youths to start their own projects and uh, to make new strategy for employing uh, young uh, generations. So how do you see this and the importance of youths and young, uh, and young entrepreneurs in starting their own projects in the development process? The exactly. Whole, yes. Uh, the, uh, the president of the Hassisi has spoken uh, too many times and mm. uh, sent directions for uh, new uh, projects and tackling on the sector of mm. the, the, the medium and the small and the very small mm. projects. Yes. For, uh, I believe that it's an ordinary news mm. now that we can find a factory or uh, a, a workshop mm. Mm. for women, for, uh, for youth, yes. for, for, the, for those who need a break in their mm. lives. This cannot be uh, established mm. or uh, accomplished without uh, make, making each and every citizen take part yes. of the develop developing uh, mm. map. Mm. Uh, sir, of course, uh, as uh, Shireen just mentioned, uh, the youth are playing a very important role in the future of the country. To what extent with these uh, new projects, with these new cities which are having uh, many universities, many schools, and of course we um, actually witness uh, the, um, the fact that many universities did actually open in the new administrative capital and will uh, open actually also in El Alamein city. Uh, to what extent uh, these um, projects and the new universities are representing a real dawn for uh, uh, the youth in Egypt and of course um, a real uh, uh, boost for uh, future uh, contribution for the youth in these domains? We can never dream of our mm. own de developing uh, this society without mm. a well-educated student mm. and a well-educated working mm. man and woman. Mm. Mm. We have lacked that level for, for years. We have witnessed in the past era yeah. uh, that very large gap mm. between two, only two uh, levels, yes. that very uh, great level on the base mm. that, are, that are not educated uh, at all, yes. only ju just taking the, 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 the small uh, things from e each and everything yes. without, be without we being deeply educated. And other, on the, the very same, uh, the very top, the very high top, a very small mm. uh, uh, sector of the society w w uh, was uh, well educated mm. that can never build uh, an edu educational base that goes, goes along with mm. the industrial and uh, developing uh, map. Mm. We are now witnessing a change, a total change, but we need more. On, the, on this very uh, path, we, uh, we need more mm. uh, developing the, the, the uh, educational uh, part. Mm. We need a revolution within the, the, the Ministry of Education. Mm. Also, one of the achievements of the government is digital transformation. Mm. So, uh, to what extent this uh, will impact uh, the economy and help in attracting more investors? Well, more in, uh, the, the, the more investments means that we are going easily toward the future, mm. which is an answer, a huge answer yes. to some voices that are criticizing mm. our own uh, mm efforts right here some 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 so, uh, voices say that we should go politically uh, or uh, mm -hmm. uh, add the, the political side i am against any political uh, way of thinking right now we are not mm -hmm. to be divided again 
between parties and uh, and political powers on, on this uh, battle we are fighting. Mm. This battle means only that we are one front, mm -hmm. one hand, the whole society, without being divided. Mm. Especially when this division is being used by other powers mm. from the past that mm. are trying to drag us from the, the future to, to their uh, dark past. Mm. Mm. Uh, our success economically it mm. means a lot for investors. The investors they don't uh, look at your political identity. Mm. They look at your strength and your figures and your uh, capability of attract them and mm. embrace them. And uh, what are the 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 the, the, the things that you, the the roads that uh, you are building? The, 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 the very uh, important thing that makes, makes it easy for them to invest in Egypt by developing the, 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 the net of laws and of investments mm. which is already be, being developed. Mm. So we cannot be talking about development without mentioning the development and the efforts exerted to develop uh, the transportation um, uh, system in Egypt, the whole of the railway, the buses, every, everything, and the monorail, which also we, we did mention for um, facilitating, of course, uh, the transportation of the citizens and um, the safety of all that. Uh, of course, great efforts uh, exerted, and of course, it is of great concern to the Egyptian administration to do so. How do you see the importance of the um, development of the transportation system in Egypt? As we are uh, building a new uh, net of works, yes. uh, net of roads, mm. we are need, uh, in a in need, mm. a strong need to yes. uh, develop our uh, transportation system. Mm. As I believe, and, and I say it again, yeah. those roads, it, may, it, makes a it means a lot <laughs> to our development yes. uh, map. We, it means a lot to, uh, to, for our transportation, for, for money to, 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 to run all over mm. the roads. Yes. Mm. And also, it has its own uh, militarily, mm. military uh, aspect. Of course, it, yes. it can facilitate, facilitate the, the movement of the troops all over the country. Mm. So, uh, Mr. Amr, we can talk about development uh, without mentioning uh, the government efforts to empower Egyptian uh, women and make her part of the development process. So, how do you evaluate these efforts? Okay, I am, uh, I am with, mm. of course, uh, yes. empowering women and make them make it make a very large sector of the society to take part of the take part of this uh, yeah. effort yes i believe that woman the man and the woman side by side hand by hand they can mm. build the society with a with a very uh, equality mm. uh, measures between mm -hmm. the, the the two hands of mm. one body yes so, uh, yes, Misty. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst, thank you very much, sir, for uh, being our guest for today. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Amr. And uh, give you a short break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned.